Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. We are solving today basic calculator. This is a part three of the three part series I was building on calculator. This problem is a hard problem, although it's completely based on the part one and part two of this series, which I solved. So as you can see here, uh, for an example, this problem asks you to solve something like this, where basically you have to deal with parentheses and you have to deal with calculations. Now in the part one, we learned how to deal with parentheses. And in part two, we, we learned how to deal with calculation. So now this is kind of combination of those two ideas and hence it's a hard problem. Just actually copy the solution of part one and part two and put it here because we are building on top of it. So that's why I highly, highly recommend if you guys haven't watched my part one and part two, then please go ahead and watch those first and then come back here, okay? All right, so I'll copy that and I will copy this guy. Let's name this guy something else because it's already calculate over here. So I'll say uh, solve. Now this problem does not deal with multiplication and division. So let's keep it simple and delete them, okay? So first observation uh, that I can make. Now, basically what's the idea? The idea is that I'm gonna call reverse parenthesis Let's go ahead and call this guy. And reverse parenthesis is kind of odd. Let's, uh, you know, make it, let's uh, rename it to um, solve, I guess again, solve parenthesis, right? So we'll say ret return solve parenthesis and S. Now, second observation over here that we need an integer to return. And ultimately here, when you return the whole string, you also want to return the solve of str, okay? And same thing over here, when you are reversing, making the operation on the string within that parenthesis, you basically call solve str, right? Okay, now if you try to run this right now, you can see that I'm getting a wrong answer over here. And if you look at the details of this, it, it actually passed 27 test cases of 37. <laughs> so just by copy pasting those two solutions, you're kind of almost there. Now, one unique thing that it introduces, like in this example, you can see two minus five minus six. So let's actually go ahead and copy this. And in the console, let me uh, put this guy. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say print and S just to show you what's happening here. So let's go ahead and run it and you would see that you're getting the second call of solve, you're getting two minus minus one as a string that is being passed. Now, what was the assumption in this problem where we were solving calculator two is that you are you were dealing with non-negative numbers. So we make a fair assumption that you are never gonna get this case of something like this, like two minus minus one case case you are you have to deal with non-negative numbers so you have to deal with this kind of double negate sign it's not that tricky let's go to whiteboard and look at it two minus minus one okay two minus minus one right so that should give you plus three right let's say it was two minus plus one that should have that should give you two minus one so one so essentially what is the effect of this uh, minus sign is that it's reversing or it's changing the sign from plus to minus 
So it's basically equivalent to two and change the plus to minus, so minus one. And this one is equivalent to two plus one. So that's all you got to deal with that, how to reverse the second operation. And keep in mind that, let's say you are getting like two minus one. So after the operation, you have a number, then you don't do any changes, right? It's, it's the regular thing. Only if the case or uh, case like pl minus plus and minus minus, then only we need to worry about it. With that in mind, now how are we going to deal with it? Okay. So first of all, we know that we have, okay, let me get rid of the sprint statement first. And first of all, we know that we have to change the sign of the second operation. So let's create a uh, var um, change sign, right? And let's call it false. So initially, we don't have to deal with change sign. Now, when we're going to deal with change sign, if the operation is minus, right? So we'll say here that if uh, ch, not operation, so if the first, uh, if the current character, because op is always, you know, previous uh, operation the ch is give you, will give you the current operation so if ch is basically negative then your change sign will become true right and as i said after a negative sign if you are getting a number then you don't have to change the sign you know leave everything as it was going so if i get a number after an operation i will change it back to false but if I get an operation after an operation, like there are two operation and the previous one was negative, then I have to worry about it. So what are we gonna do? Uh, we will say that, so over here, we will say that if change sign is equal to true, you have to do something else. this remains the same, right? Basically, if if the previous operation was negative, I have to reverse this operation, the current operation, right? And how would you reverse it? Uh, you can say simple as uh, OP is equal to, and you can say that um, CH is equal to, is equal to plus, then you can, do this, uh, put negative in the operation, else if it's minus, then plus put positive there. Uh, yeah, right. So basically we are changing the operation for the current one if the previous operation was negative, correct? Now with that in mind, uh, everything looks good. Let's try and submit this guy. All right, cool, voila. So again, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it was a hard problem, but we solved it very quickly because we kind of copied the part one and part two of this three part series and kind of used exactly those two functions here to solve this hard problem very quickly. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay, stay tuned and like and subscribe. Thank you.